Hello everyone, it's Donna here from Homesteading New Zealand, Blind and Knitting. Still haven't quite worked out my name yet in detail, so I flounder over that, but I will come up with a name because I, I was blind and knitting, and then I started adding homesteading information and knowledge in my fun time that I, how I in my world and so I have changed it a bit. I am going to do a knitting podcast and this one was supposed to be a knitting podcast. However, I am also a social worker that works in the lower half of the North Island of New Zealand and welcome to anyone who's joined today. We've got some new subscribers so I hope you enjoy my podcast. It's just a real relaxed chat to you one, show you what I do during my weekends because I work full time, I have my own business that I work at in the during the week and show you what I do in the weekends which is around homesteading, cooking from scratch and really living as simply as possible and also along the way I give some mental health tips. Now talking about mental health I'm taking deep breaths. Um, it's been, a, I've just had an awful fortnight, or longer than a fortnight, probably a month, where um, our government has made some major changes and made some major cuts, and so therefore my business was impacted by losing a contract, which in the long run means I have to minimise my business in order to make it survive. And um, I've had to uh, let go of a couple of staff and squash down some more uh, and it's been one of the hardest things I've had to do because the staff have been amazing I have I had the luxury I have I'm saying and I had now the luxury of some wonderful staff and yeah I still feel quite um, upset about it all so as to this weekend I'm really going to take care of my stress management because my anxiety levels are really high I often talk in these podcasts about how I've lived with anxiety all my life um, and managed it reasonably well uh, and hopefully you'll get tips along the way on how to do that. Uh, so I, I recognise that my anxiety levels are very high now. I, I can sense it in my body and I know what I need to do to bring those down and you can probably tell by the way I'm talking that I'm not breathing well. That's part of... Um, anxiety and stress is our lungs um, are changing their breathing patterns in, in order to prepare for fight, flight and freeze. So our brain says to our lungs, you better get ready buddies because we're going to have to either fight this or run like the Leo or hide and freeze and um, that's what it's doing, it's changing our breathing patterns. So I do know I have to do some breathing exercises um, and I'm going to do some meditation this afternoon because that really helps me sort of live in the now. Um, I've lived sort of thinking forward and strategic planning and trying to you know, work out budgets and how to do all this over the last month and I haven't lived in the now and to me that is really important um, and I don't know if you are a tattoo person, I am a tattoo person, I have several and my last one was I did Outward Bound uh, I don't know if I've said in this one, but I am legally blind, so I have just a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of vision. Uh, it's about the size of the palm of my hand. The rest of my vision field is black, completely black, um, and even the one that I have is blurry, and it's degenerative, so it is getting worse. It's a big pill to swallow, um, and but I am managing with that. As I always say, everybody is pushing a wheelbarrow. Some of us, their wheelbarrows are bigger than others. Some of our wheelbarrows are invisible and people don't see it but um, everybody's pushing a wheelbarrow some big and heavy and sometimes they're light uh, just depending on what's going on so uh, at the moment my wheelbarrow feels really big and heavy and off balance and this weekend I am going to sort that <laughs> so meditation this afternoon lots of breathing exercises I have so many unfinished jobs over this period that I have have um, have not done and so what I've done is written myself a list of all my unfinished jobs because I tend to be blow fly in a bottle when I'm in those situations um, I'm very ADHD and uh, undiagnosed but I really have diagnosed myself um, ADHD and oh I just 
flipped everywhere so I've got so many unfinished jobs that I want to get done and that will help me it'll help me with um, my uh, feeling better about myself I think I've talked in other podcasts about our hedonic um, set point and a hedonic set point is where our level of happiness meets when it comes to dopamine which is our one of our neurotransmitters one of our happy drugs and so if you have some a lot of dopamine and you can bring it up to the point of your hip 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 that's it that's another part i sort of speed and fumble over my words and my memory goes this is all stress i know exactly what it is my hedonic set point i have not done many things that have given me good healthy dopamine hits so my low is low and I so I've got to try and get some whole lot of dopamine hits to try and bring this um, set point back up to a balanced level I don't know if that made sense it came out of my mouth and it's gone into your ears but whether it's made sense along the way I'm sorry but I'm sure over podcasts I'll talk about it the simple fact is that I'm incredibly stressed and I need to do something about it and you're coming on that journey <laughs> So I have uh, woke up this morning, I've emptied the dishwasher, I've got all the washing out, I've got one more load to hang, so those are jobs that tick tick, so dopamine hits you, so dopamine reward on those, which is helpful. I've done a couple of little jobs that have been loitering around, you know, silly little things like I had jars of stuff, we cleared the fridge out, I had jars of stuff that hadn't uh, got eaten that I took out for the, um, you know, I nearly said fed the fridge. Oh my gosh, see, you know, if you are fumbling over your words, feeling overwhelmed and stressed and anxious, as I am, um, you know, there is there are ways through it and it's just, it is, it's an awful stage to be in, so take a breath and we can work through this. So um, I, the other thing I did is I got some professional supervision, so um, so professional supervision is like, well it is counselling, but it's counselling for professionals in my world, in social work and employment world. Um, and I knew I just wasn't, I had all these ducks and I just couldn't get them in a row. I just, you know, they were, it was like herding cats. My ducks had turned into cats that were just going mad. And so um, I sat with, with my supervisor and talked things through and kind of got my ducks in a row a lot better. So I know what I need to do, it's just a matter of getting through it. A couple of weeks ago, I was given a humongous box. Here's the box here, <laughs> full of onions. You can see the onion peels in there. Um, full of onions. And last weekend, I spent uh, some time um, freezing in little sandwich size bags and these little bags, sliced onions. So I did, I think in the end, I got about 12 bags of, and that's enough for you know, it was, I gave, put a really big handful, so probably a cup and a quarter cup and a bit in each bag. And that's enough for when we make mints or all those sorts of things that's really handy to have. And when you just grab a bag of sliced um, onions and throw them in. So I did that. I also made my toasted sandwiches that are frozen for work in that. And I did one that I had tried, tested that I'd never made before. And, oh my gosh, we loved them. So it was the one, if you want to look back, it's um, it was either last weekend or the weekend before, but it was um, egg, ham and onion. And I baked, I cooked the egg in a sandwich loaf. I'm not sure if I even showed it. So when I do my next lot, because believe me, they will go fast, because we just love them. Uh, cooked the egg in a sandwich slice uh, tray and sliced it up. And, oh yes, I did, I did do it. And then I made these pre-made toaster sandwiches and we had them for tea the other night. I was dubious. I thought, oh, I don't know if that egg's going to be very nice. But I went back for seconds. Really nice. So highly recommend. First time I'd done that and absolutely will be doing it again. Somebody's just pulled up my drive. So we'll see what that is and then I'll be back. So Mr. Farmer came home and wanted a coffee. So I've got, made myself a coffee as well. Um, it's a decaf because the last thing I need is more stimulants in my body. <laughs> so it's good. So um, I was talking about my onions. I had made about 12 bags in the small bags. I don't think I really need any more 
pre-prepared that size so what I thought I would do is because I still have a whole bench full and I'll show you in a minute is I thought I would um, caramelize them and put them into small bags for things like hamburgers and also I'm going to do one ice cream container full and I thought that might be quite handy for if we have friends over for a barbecue and you want to fry up a whole lot of onions to put on your steak sort of thing so that's my goal today is caramelized onions to be able to put on our hamburgers etc so I'll do smaller amounts in a, in a bag so just enough for you know three or four hamburgers and of course they'll boil down so I haven't caramelized onions for a while so I'll take you through that so I'll bring you down show you my onions and show you what we're going to be doing so here's all my onions if you can see them there I'll just check you can see them yeah so there's all my onions my bowl my kitchen whiz is ready to do that with um, and so cut each end off of the onions and slice it in half and I'll just leave it like that and get rid of the ends oops it's moved in the box uh, and yes yeah, so I was just talking about stress um, the thing with stress is if you have a plan on how to manage things your brain will work so much better the, 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 our, our, our brain needs plans to feel like it's moving forward and that will help and I've certainly got those plans so I've worked quite hard to do those and um, anxiety well I've learnt my early warning signs and I've learnt what I need to do but sometimes of course the plans don't happen the way you like there's a great saying that plans happen while you're making life which is so so true or you make plans while life happens so things change get bounced around and then of course when you're so busy it's often you forget to do those self-care things so, yeah, so I am going to do these. Um, the other thing I'm going to do this weekend, which I'll do next and take you through, is bircher. So I'm going to make some bircher. Last night I soaked my porridge. Now bircher is a German breakfast using rolled oats. Um, and originally, it uh, comes from Germany, originally they used to make it with condensed milk and soak their oats in that because... Milk was hard to come by, and it was so that was how they stored it, was by using condensed milk. So, um, but today, um, I'll oh, these onions are gonna a bit stingy, they're quite strong. So, today, we're gonna do that. Uh, what else am I gonna do today? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of myself, but I've got, as I say, I've got all these little jobs to finish now. I'm gonna carry on with this. I'm going to get all of these done and then I'm going to put them, th whisk them through the kitchen whisk up here and uh, then we can, oh, nearly lost you guys. Um, then we can fry them up uh, and I'll, sh I'll take you through that. So once I'm ready to put them in the fry pan and fry them up, I will bring you back. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we've changed positions now. We're over by the element. I have sliced all my onions da -de -da. It's that lot well not only that lot look I'll show you actually doesn't take long it feels like a big job to start but there's a nice big ice cream container full so I'm going to freeze that as is and that can be for barbecues uh, or you know probably things like barbecues I think is the best I've got a whole nother bowl full left now I don't want to uh, load the fry pan up too much because it takes a long time but they do swell down so I will um, sweat down beg your pardon so I will add add some more once I've sweated down a wee bit it will take longer but rather than do two whole loads I think I'll just try doing it within the one so I'm going to move you down and we'll make a start and we'll go from there so here we go Move you down so you can see. Can you see that there? Yes, I think you can. There we go. So there's my all my onions. So I um, need some 
uh, oil. I'm just using bran oil. You can use olive oil. You can use whatever you like. Um, just to start them off so they don't stick in the bottom. Um, I should put that in first, but I had so many onions that I just put them in there from the from the kit from the cooker. Um, not the cooker. The look at this. From the kitchen was uh, straight into there. So let's put the oven on, medium high heat. That's the struggle with my sight. I've got to just see whether it's going or not. Cause I feel whether it's going or not. So um, medium high heat. There's a lot in there, so I'll put it up more high -er than medium. And I'm going to salt it because that will draw the moisture out because we don't want a lot of moisture in them, obviously. Um, and this will make it quicker to draw the moisture out. Um, so they are salted. And it is a matter really of just slowly cooking them down until they go. So what will happen is they'll start cooking down. I'll keep stirring them, but a little bit later I'll stir less. And they'll go a nice sort of goldeny colour. And then they'll go a dark rich caramel colour. And that's when after you've done that, you can start adding things like you could add um, brandy goes beautiful with in them, or red wine, or balsamic vinegar, which I've got some balsamic here, so I might I might dribble some balsamic in it. And uh, just depends on what I'm going to use them for, but uh, I, you're not sure what I'll do with it yet. So it's going to take a while. It's probably going to take a good 20 odd minutes or maybe even a bit longer. So uh, we'll be back shortly. Although what I could do while they're cooking, now here's a good idea rather than while I'm in the mood, I'll bring you back over to the other bench and we will make headways on my bircher. So bear with Okay, so as I said, I like to make my life easier by having some prepped meals for lunches. I have toasted sandwiches and pizzas. I've run out of the pizzas, so we will be making those shortly to put in the freezer. But it is becoming, it's spring here. Uh, Mr. Farmer has just gone out to do a lambing beat. So lots and lots of lovely lambs floating around. I'll take you for a walk one day and show you the lambs floating around it's just gorgeous uh, makes me smile spring I like all seasons to be honest but for spring it is more about new growth and daffodils and lambs it's just beautiful and buds and blossom so um, I normally do my own homemade instant porridge and that's what I've been having but I've run out of that and it is getting warmer so I thought it would be really nice to make some bircher now as I said before bircher is a German breakfast Originally it was made with condensed milk because that's how they stored their milk um, in, in, you know, in the old days. But I have made some, I soaked my oats. So there are three basic ingredients. There's rolled oats. There are some sort of liquid like milk or orange juice or kefir or... Um, yeah, if you're dairy intolerant, you could go for a coconut milk, something like that. And then uh, yogurt or a thicker kefir or uh, I'm trying to think if you were dairy intolerant, what, what you could use. You could make your own yogurt with, with um, you know, dairy intolerant, dairy free yogurt. <laughs> what am I trying to say? And then you flavour them. So what, I'll bring you down and show you what I've done. So my onions are just ticking along down in the um in the can you see there let me know if you can see <laughs> so here i have my first one is i have rolled oats in there so i have a cup of rolled oats and a cup of orange juice pure orange juice i'm allergic to apples so it has to be pure orange juice otherwise i get very sick uh, so a cup of pure orange juice and a couple of rolled oats and that's been left overnight and in this one, I have a cup of rolled oats and a cup of ordinary uh, milk. And so those are my bases. Uh, so those, this is what we're going to start with. I'll just give them a little mix up to get them started. Can you see? I, I'm not sure if you can see, actually. might bring you down a wee bit more. That's it. So I'll mix those up a wee bit. Now what we need to do is add either kefir or yogurt. Now this is my homemade kefir that I make every, each, every week and this is homemade yogurt that I'm I usually have raw milk and make natural Greek 
or natural yogurt but this is one of my favorite easy yo ones not sponsored um that's coconut greek coconut yogurt and oh god no so i love this so uh, i made that because i've uh, my friend is still not milking at the moment. She's having trouble with her milking shed. So it's made just ordinary bought one. I also have some golden syrup, homemade golden syrup that I've made myself, and maple syrup. So I thought I'd do two different lots and two different flavours. Uh, this is a bag of, it's called Highland Toasted Muesli. It is expensive, so I don't buy it very often, and I don't add a lot, but it's full of sultanas and raisins, and um, it's got some hip, bigger sort of old rolled oats in it, coconut, uh, little bits of ginger, dehydrated banana, you name it, it's in there. So I'm going to put those in there as well. So the next step after we've soaked them is to put either kefir or yogurt and now I'm going to put a both in, in both because I know I like both flavours and I also know I like the what kefir does for my tummy it really settles my tummy so I'm going to put a, a little bit of each in both and I don't want to use all my yogurt because I love it <laughs> and I want to eat it I had a big bowl of yogurt for pudding last night Right, so that's the yoghurt. Just stir my onions, so bear with. They aren't doing anything special, so I won't show you yet. They are just walking down a bit. As I said, I don't want them to catch, so I'm just checking on them. Now the kefir. I will get another fresh spoon out. Give that a good stir. It's actually a really nice thick kefir this time, which is unusual. And I'm just put a bit of kefir in both. You could measure these out. I'm probably putting in two thirds of a cup. Um, oh, yum, yum, yum. Lick my fingers, better wash my hands. <laughs> it's only my food anyway. Mr. Farmer doesn't eat this. He's, um, I think he's dairy intolerant. <laughs> so now you just mix it all up separately. Um, looks lovely lovely so I've not done one with orange juice before so this will be a really new one for me to try uh, now you can add some bits and pieces now you, I've got frozen berries and frozen mango in the freezer that I can add but I'll add those on the day uh, has this one been opened? no it hasn't been opened so that's good but I'll add these now. Oh, oh my gosh. Drop the scissors. Uh, I'll add these now. Because it's just another job I don't have to do in the morning. Um, I actually have no problem with eating. Um, oh, this is divine. I know it's expensive, but it's divine. So I'm going to add that to both. And that's kind of going to give it a bit of texture, a bit of zing. It's got hazelnuts in it and almonds. Uh, so that's for both of them. Now, I thought I'd do two different flavours. So what I thought I would do in the ordinary um, porridge one with just milk is I would do maple syrup flavouring. So I'm going to pour maple syrup in. That's my sweetener, so you won't have to add sugar. And in this one, I thought I would do golden syrup. I need another spoon. I should go through some spoons, don't I? Um, this is my homemade golden syrup. And so easy to make. So that is the sweetener in there and also the flavour. And I've got some cinnamon here. I thought I'd sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in both. Just to give it a zhuzh. You could do anything really, you can, I mean, and as I say, I've got the berries to put in there. You could put nutmeg in there, I do find with nutmeg for me, it's kind of got a gritty, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a coarser um, texture, so I don't particularly like, I love the flavour of nutmeg, but I don't like the, um, yeah, but the cinnamon, I do like the flavour and the texture. And so, 
a little bit of salt because porridge is just not porridge without a bit of salt even just ordinary porridge you don't need much just a pinch just it just layers and brightens up the flavors makes them shine i'm just going to stir my my um onions to see what they're doing let me get the ticking along i'll show you those soon still still nothing amazing for you to see right and so we mix these up um people a lot of people eat bircher and a lot of people don't know what it is if you go to a motel often on the breakfast carts in the mornings you'll see bircher containers of what looks like porridge and um the other thing you can add to these which is really good especially if you need to thicken it like if you've got really runny liquids is chia seeds so chia seeds and i've got some but you know what i can't be bothered getting them out isn't that awful you know as i said i'm having a having a moment this um this i have to spread that golden syrup through don't i um, it's a bit tricky to do having a moment this weekend so i'm going to do what i want to do not what i have to do well you know within limits of course because there's always things that you have to do um yeah so i'll give this a stir i as i say i haven't tried the orange juice one so i just want to make sure that that golden syrup's and stirred through it rather than sitting in a clump and i think i can't feel it in there now uh, yum and there is there's my breakfasts for the next week so each day i can just grab some out what i used to do is get the like jam jars and fill the jam jars and then you can just eat it out of the jam jar and put it in the dishwasher but i have run out of jam jars and i need to get some more um so at the moment i'm just putting it in these and i'll just put some into a bowl um now i'm getting a little bit, little bit like my mum and i actually like cereal for pudding <laughs> my mum always used to eat cornflakes for pudding in the, for supper in the evening and i must admit i love a bowl of rice bubbles uh, not for breakfast because i just don't think they're you know they don't sustain you i think they're a treat food but uh, i quite like them in the evening for for uh, supper so there's my breakfasts for the next week as i say i can throw some berries in them if i want um, I've got them in the freezer. I could put them in now, but again, I just want to keep things nice and simple. Now I'm just going to taste them, make sure I've got enough of I mean, enough of everything in there. So this one is the milk, uh, cinnamon, and maple syrup. Could do with a bit more maple syrup. I, don't, I can't really taste the flavour through. And I like maple syrup, so. Yeah, it's nice, though. So. Mmm. This will be so handy. I'll just get up in the morning and I can just grab. Mmm. That's much, much better. Much better. Right, so that's the maple syrup one. I've got porridge everywhere. Mr. Farmer will be coming behind me, sweeping, of course. Right, this is the golden syrup one. And this one I've not tried before, so it'll be interesting. Um, so I soaked it with orange juice. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good. I'll be doing that one again. All right. There is my breakfasts for the next week. I'll pop those in the fridge shortly. I'll just go and see what my onions are doing. I'll turn you around and I'll bring you over. And see, we'll have a look, see what the onions are doing. Oh, oops, sorry, love. So I was going to call you love. Sorry, guys. Okay, so it's just starting to shrink down. And it's catching a wee bit on the bottom, which we don't want. So what you can do is just add a little bit of water. It'll pick up all those nice caramelized bits on the bottom but it will stop it catching and now it's just starting to turn so you can see that it's going to go a little golden and yeah we'll just keep that going 
and uh, I'll, I'll bring you back when it starts to change colour, uh, really. So I have got a heck of a lot in there, so it's going to take a while. Normally you would do just enough. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, and this was a tip that um, someone I work with, Bev, at the community centre told me, and she puts them in paddy tins, uh, silicone paddy tins, and freezes them, and then she, so that they are thawed in just a nice amount for a hamburger or a piece of steak. And so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put them in, freeze them in my silicone paddy tins, and then they will be free flow. And that, I think, is a jolly good idea. So I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to watch a nice podcast and just chill because I just want to do things I enjoy today. I am getting through my list. So onions, tick. Washing, tick. Um, yeah, uh, breakfasts for next week, tick. Uh, I'm getting through it. <laughs> That's all good. So we'll be back shortly. Bye. It's me. I got a bit carried away and I got on with the onions without taping. Sorry. So uh, I thought, well, I'll just have to show you them because I've finished. And I haven't frozen them yet, though. So I have caramelised all of those onions. I'll um, Let me turn you around and I'll explain. So I've caramelised all of the onions and I've put them into patty tins, silicone patty tins. I did add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to taste. <laughs> the second batch, I probably could have caramelised them a bit longer so you can see the colour difference. Now, there's a, quite a difference when you do do onions. There's a difference between sweating them down and caramelising them. So when you sweat them down, they go translucent and stay sort of solid. But when you caramelise them... The, the sugars come out of the onions and they um, caramelise. So there is a difference. And I think these could have had, you can see those ones, six there are just a slightly different colour. But I'm, I'm pretty, they taste good. I've checked them, I've tasted them, and I'm happy with them. So I've also got two, okay, I'm, I didn't want to do another bag, so I'm just going to freeze those. And I've got a big container, ice cream container, chocker of grated onion as well. And my bircher in the fridge, ready for breakfast next week. So that's me for now. I'm going to go and do some self-care, self-care, self-care. That's exactly what I'm going to do this afternoon. I have one job to do for work for an hour, and then that is me. I'm just going to chill. And um, yeah, but I feel like I've uh, produced today. I'll come back and hopefully I'll do a knitting one tomorrow when I feel a little bit more refreshed. And we'll see you then. So bye for now from Donna. Bye.